So this is pretty much how to epoxy. Most epoxies are the same. They have two agents you mix together, and in this case, there's some black stuff and some white stuff. This is from JB Weld, and this stuff's been lying around for a long time. It can even sit exposed to the air. That's, that's how this stuff was, because it's so old. But I'm gonna mix the black and the white. That's how you do it, equal parts and then it will start to harden. So that's how you make epoxy happen. So I'll mix these together until they're gray. And that's how you know it's done. All right, I don't need much. I'm just trying to repair or glue in this little tab thing here on this device here. So let's get to it. Take the tab out. Tab is out. Going to put some epoxy on here. Get some light. Need more than that. Don't want too much, but. Definitely want to get it in the hole there. This epoxy is old. It's not really working too well. That's too much, that's for sure. All right, maybe I'll just leave it like that. Kind of move it over a bit. Now I got a piece left on there, damn it all. Anyway, I'm just gonna put this piece in now and hope for the best. There it's in. There's a bit back there, which is fine. Let's kind of smear it around on here. Maybe put a dot on there to harden it. Because this doesn't really get seen, so we'll just dab some on here. And that's it. The repair is done. Of course, that looks crooked. Oh, it looks straight. What it sit for 24 hours and see how it works out. Oh well, it's not a perfect job, but we'll see how it turns out. You just don't want it rubbing or have it too far extended above the plane, but I don't care. Let's call it done. All right, I'm gonna put this somewhere where I can just sit and not cause harm and we're done. Leave that sitting right there, let it dry and call it a day. Thanks for watching, have a great day.